Positioning for elbow surgery is very similar to the shoulder procedures. The spider is placed at chest level on the non-operative side of the OR table. The accessories used are the piggyback, elbow connection bar, 90 degree connector and the elbow stabilization kit. The 90 degree connector, piggyback and elbow connection bar are autoclaved prior to the case. While the patient is being prepped and draped, the elbow stabilization kit can be opened on the sterile back table. It includes a hand cuff, the arm cuff, tensor wrap, foam hand grip and spider drape. The sterile elbow connection bar, 90 degree connector and piggyback are also ready for the procedure. To prepare the elbow bar for surgery, the sterile assistant tears the foam hand grip halfway up along the perforated groove. The hand grip is slid over the elbow bar handle. The flat bar is then slid into the black sheath on the back of the arm cuff. The middle tab must be facing up. The Velcro strap is wrapped over the bar. The bar is now prepared for surgery. The usual procedure to prepare the spider to ensure sterility is to have a sterile person insert the sterile piggyback into the distal end of the spider. The sterile person then will open the base of the drape and drop it over the top of the piggyback ensuring that the top face of the piggyback is completely uncovered. They can then pull the drape all the way down to the spider amplifier, being careful to ensure that the outer drape remains sterile. The sterile 90 degree connector is inserted into the sterile spider. Then the elbow bar is inserted into the 90 degree connector. Each of the quick connects is locked in place. The elbow bar is then lowered to just above the patient's chest, with the patient's fingers placed around the hand grip. The arm cuff is wrapped around the arm as tight as possible. The spider and arm can be repositioned for easy access during the wrapping process. Take the handcuff and wrap it from the back of the hand around to the front side of the forearm. It is important to have the hand held securely by this wrap. After the handcuff is in place, wrap the long Velcro straps around the wrist and forearm. It is critical to have the Velcro straps wrapped securely. Lastly, the arm can be wrapped with a tensor bandage or Coban wrap. The arm can then be positioned for surgery. The rotation cam can be released on the 90 degree connector to allow any amount of supination or pronation. The cam is locked and the surgeon can assess the positioning. Further interoperative supination or pronation can occur at any time. To change the orientation of the arm from horizontal above the chest to vertical beside the patient's side, the rotation cam must be unlocked. The spider is grasped by the slender arm and patient's arm as the foot pedal is depressed. Then the spider can be repositioned anywhere in the spider's range of motion. The arm can be positioned with the elbow bent at 90 degrees with the forearm vertical. In this position, the pronation or supination can be adjusted. Ensure a firm grasp on the slender arm of the spider and the patient's arm whenever the spider is being released. The spider has a large range of motion that can allow the surgeon to position a patient's arm in many positions and orientations.